part road course, part super speedway, 100% chaos. With only four races remaining until the playoffs begin, it's time for one of the most unique challenges remaining on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. As for the first time in series history, the field takes to the fame Daytona International Speedway road course. 14 turns over three and a half miles, and with no practice or qualifying, the field's going to barrel off into turn number one with 235 miles of racing action on the board and no former experience. All the racing action goes down from Daytona with the GoBowling.com 235. This will be your full race preview video of everything to expect from the inaugural weekend from the Daytona Road Course. Let's have a look at your playoff standings after the Michigan doubleheader where Kevin Harvick rose to his sixth win of the season. Also has those five stage wins in the bank, 35 playoff points for him. That leaves him with a six-point lead over Denny Hamlin, who has those five wins on the season. Then it's Penske teammates Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano. They're separated by seven points. Brad has one more win than Joey, and Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman and another pair of teammates, so Hendrick duo, just separated by one point, each of them with one win. Ryan Blaney, the third of the Penske driver, sits seventh in the standings. He has that win in the book, as well as Martin Truex Jr. He's eighth in the standings, and that Joe Gibbs, 19. Austin Dillon and Cole Custer also eyeing up playoff positions as they are locked in, and Eric Almarola, first driver in on points. He sits 158 points ahead of the cut line. He has his two stage wins on the season. Behind him, it's a close battle between the Bush brothers. They're separated by only three points, each with a stage win on the season. That's defending series champion Kyle Bush and Kurt Bush. Another battle right behind them by three points. Clint Boyer and Matt Benedetto, a duo of Ford teammates. Clint right now has the position by with his two stage wins. Three points over Matt Benedetto in that 21. And the final playoff position at 16th spot by 26 points will be William Byron. Byron holds that over a tie with Eric Jones. Jones and Jimmy Johnson, two drivers heavily involved in this silly season. And Tyler Reddick, one of our rookies, 36 points behind the cut line. Down into the drivers who need a win to make the playoffs. Christopher Bell, 122 points back. Bubba Wallace, 137 behind. Michael McDowell sits 161 out. And Chris Buescher, 166 and just two points behind him. As Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 168 back. Let's have a look at your Sunoco rookie contenders. Tyler Reddick unofficially leads the points. 501 points in the bank for him. 86 Six points over Christopher Bell. The driver to watch here, though, you see his name in yellow, Cole Custer. By way of his win, he is the only rookie in the playoffs right now, and if it remains that way in these next four races, he is your rookie of the year, but as of now, he's 105 points off of our leaders. John Hunter Nemechek sits 160 points in the hole, while Brandon Poole and Quinn Howe 347 and 380 points back, respectively. And now let's have a look at your TV schedule from the Daytona Road Course. All the racing action goes down on Sunday, August 16th 2020, where at 3 p.m. you have the Go Bowling 235 coming live on NBC. And now let's have a look at the 39 NASCAR Cup Series stars as their take to the inaugural running from the Daytona Road Course. Driving with a brand new look on the Creek Enterprises Boss Klein Double Zero Starcom Racing Chevy, it's rookie driver Quinn Half. Fan editor Chip Ganassi Racing Stable, their duo of former series champions, takes on this challenge. The Monster Energy number one will see the outlaw Kurt Busch, while the Clover Commerce number 42 sees is Matt Kenseth. For Team Penske, their trio of Fords looks like this. Driving in the Wabash National, number two, it's Bragg Kislowski. Then for the Advanced Auto Parts, number 12, YRB, Ryan Blaney. And driving into PPG Paints, number 22, that's sliced bread, Joey Logano. Richard Childress Racing brings their duo of Chevys like this. The American Ethanol, number three, will see Austin Dillon, while the Cat 360 app, number eight, sees rookie driver Tyler Reddick. For Stuart Haas Racing, their quartet of Fords rolls like this. With a brand new paint scheme on the Bush Beer National Forest Foundation, number four, it's your points leader and six-time winner this season, the closer, Kevin Happy Harvick. And for Go Bowling on car number 10, the hometown driver from Florida, it's A-squared, Eric Almarola. Driving in the bubble one, number 14, he's the farmer out of Kansas, it's Clint Boyer. And driving in the Haas Tooling, Jacob Scumsey's number 41, that's rookie driver, Cole Custer. Rosh Genoway Racing has their duo of Fords in action with the guaranteed rate number six of the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman. And for the Fast Nail, number 17, it's Chris Busher. Then for Hendrick Motorsports, their quartet of Chevys looks like this. In the Napa Auto Parts, number nine, the driver who picked up a duo of road course wins last season at Watkins Glen in the Charlotte Roval, it's Chase 
Elliott. And then for the Liberty University, number 24, William Byron. At the wheel of a brand new paint scheme, a white look on the ally, number 48, looking to rally into the playoffs. It's seven-time series champion, Jimmy Johnson. And driving an exalted coding systems, number 88, Chevy. It's the greatest showman, Alex Bowman. For Joe Gibbs Racing, their quartet of Toyotas looks like this. In the FedEx office, number 11, your Daytona 500 winner, Denny Hamlin. Then driving into Snickers, number 18, defending series champion Kyle Busch, who ran here earlier this season in the Rolex 24. Driving into Bass Pro Shops, number 19, winner at Sonoma last season, MPJ Martin Truex Jr. And at the wheel of the Toyota, number 20, it's the Jones boy, Eric Jones. Domain Racing brings the Geico for your boats, number 13, Chevy of Ty Dillon, while the Rick Ware Racing Stable has their quartet of entries like this. At the wheel of car, number 15, that's going to be rookie Brandon Poole. Then for the motorsports games, Xbox, NASCAR Heat 5, number 27, Ford, it's JJ Yaley. And driving into Jacobs Company, signing day sports, number 51, that's James Davison, also running the Indy 500. Then for Victory Lane and Joint Oil, on the number 53, Ford, it's Garrett Smithley. The Wood Brothers is in action with car number 21 of the Knopf Monards Ford of Guido, Matt, the Benedetto. And then for Go Fast Racing, driving in the Trump 2020, number 32 Ford, it's Super Shoes, Corey LaJoy. Front Row Motorsports has their duo of Fords like this. In the Pumatic Solutions, number 34, it's Michael McDowell. And driving in the Death Wish Coffee, number 38, rookie driver John Hunter Nemechek. JTG Darty Racing brings their duo of Chevys like this. For the Perina Dog Food, car number 37, it sees driver Ryan Priest. And driving into Kroger, number 47, it's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Out of the Richard Petty Motorsports Stable, welcoming brand new sponsor DoorDash. To car number 43, it's Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr. And for Beard Motorsports, they return to the track with the South Point Hotel and Casino, number 62, Chevy of Brandon Gone. MBM Motorsports will be in action with the Roof Claim Stock com number 66 toyota of timmy hill and then for spire motorsports returning to the nascar cup series at the wheel of the formula and imports number 77 chevy it's the stunt man stanton barrett levine family racing's in action with new partner germania insurance on car number 95 the toyota of rookie driver christopher bell and out of the gaunt brothers racing stable rounding off the entry list for com scoop on car number 96 that toyota will see daniel suarez now let's have a look at your speedway collective fantasy picks two drivers from each category I think can bring home some points to your fantasy team. In the A-Class, give me two drivers with road course experience. Chase Elliott, I mentioned he won the Charlotte Roval and Watkins Glen last season, actually won the past two out at the Glen. Elliott, one of the best road course racers in the Cup Series, if not the best. Keep an eye on engine number nine. And you can't go wrong with defending series champion Kyle Busch. He ran the Rolex 24 earlier this season. His team finished ninth in the class. Rowdy has over six hours of experience on this track this season. Keep an eye out for him to park it in victory lane for his first win of this season. In the B class, Matt Kenseth. No real reason to put him on my team here, but he is a veteran, and he can adapt to some of these tracks, so keep an eye on the driver to number 42. Hasn't been the greatest on road courses, but he could sneak through and get something done. But my shining star in the B class here is that number 12 of Ryan Blaney. Blaney, the inaugural winner at the Charlotte Roval back in 2018. He might be able to get another road course speed way win here in the number 12 at Daytona. In the C-Class, give me seven-time series champion Jimmy Johnson. He's run the Rolex 24 before, and he has some good runs on road course in his past history. Look out for old Jimmy Jam. And Ryan Newman in that number six veteran experience here. I like the way he performed on the Charlotte Roval last year. Newman with some good road course experience throughout his career. Look out for him to bring home a solid run as well. And in the D-Class, Christopher Bell in that number 95. I'm choosing him because he won Road America last year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and had some great runs going on the road courses during that time. Look for him to be able to adapt and bring home a solid run in that number 95. And how about the 62 of Brandon Gone? A little bit of a surprise to the entry list. Was not entered until just a couple days ago. He usually only runs the super speedways. But when we think about Gone, he's ran the Rolex 24 in the past in his career. A solid driver here in the D-Class for your team. Now let's have a look at your race stats ahead of the GoBowling.com 235. The field's going to go for 65 laps, 234.65 miles around the 3.57 mile Daytona International Speedway road course. Stage 1 will be 15 laps. Stage 
stage two, 15 laps in distance as well. And the final stage, 35 laps. Don't forget to catch the inaugural Go Bowling 235 from the Daytona Road Course live on Sunday, August 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Cup Series race preview video. For more motorsports content, check out my newest video by clicking on the left. Hit that circle in the middle to subscribe and check out that video on the right as well. It's one you don't want to miss. You can follow me on Twitter at Kemo Cup Series. With another NASCAR race preview video, this has been Kemo on YouTube saying thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next motorsports video.